Good morning. Yes, I was just pulling up the data right here. This is the CDC's website and check it out. All of this in the red is people who are living in these parts of town to their late 60s and early 70s in a lot of places. And then the blue you can see in other spots, people are more in the 80s. So more than 10 years living longer just based on which neighborhood you live in. The Ortega community uh, life expectancy is 80 years old. Durkeyville is 67 years old. 13 year difference, only eight miles apart. CDC data shows people living in parts of North and West Jacksonville aren't living as long as those in parts of South and Far East Duval. What we believe is that place matters. David Garfunkel, president of Lift Jax, is talking about what are called social determinants of health, conditions where you live that impact your health. An example, access to a grocery store. I think the, the Harvey's downtown might be the closest one, which is a couple miles away. Right now, we are standing in a food desert in East Jacksonville. This time next year, we'll be standing inside a grocery store, Deb's store, brought back to life. I grew up on the north side. So I understand personally. Just we met Whitney Meyer at the launch of the Blue Zones Project, a collaborative effort aiming to make Duval a healthier place to live. So when I think about my current neighborhood, neighborhoods that I grew up in, that my family still currently lives in, I think of how do they actually activate and use these parks? Zip code versus genetic code. It'll take some time, but their plan is to put a healthy place to live on the map for everyone. Blue Zones Project plans to take five years to get Jacksonville on the right foot to making every neighborhood healthier. Renata DiGregorio, live in Jacksonville, First Coast News on your side.